The shower had broken a long time ago. I don't even know how. Not that it matters. One night the head just snapped right off and landed in the bathtub. Of course, this meant there was no possibility of me taking a shower anytime soon. I didn't really care since I preferred baths anyway. I found them relaxing, and I enjoyed them. I had experienced sleep paralysis before, but only once. I was about 10 at the time. I was sleeping over at my best friend's house. I woke up early in the morning, and I was unable to move. I was looking straight at my friend, who was still asleep. I saw a figure step out of the darkness over my friend and walk straight towards me. It had a stretched mouth, like nothing was holding its jaw up. It just drooped down. Its eye sockets were completely empty. Thin streams of blood were pouring from them. It sat down on my chest, crushing me. I was unable to breathe. At the moment where I felt death was imminent, I woke up and screamed as loud as I could. I didn't understand what was happening to me. I didn't realize at the time that this was sleep paralysis, a medical phenomenon. I believed his house was actually haunted. Let's just say I didn't go back to his house to sleep over after that. It was about 20 years later when sleep paralysis returned. I now realize that figure from before wouldn't actually be able to suffocate me, and I was in no real danger. It was all in my mind. The only difference this time was that I was in actual danger. I was taking a bath one night. It was just a regular Tuesday. I was very tired since I had had a very hard day at work. I laid back in the bath and drifted off to sleep. I woke up a while later and I was unable to move. I realized that I was once again experiencing sleep paralysis. I knew what was going to happen. I knew that something would try to hurt me, but I wasn't scared because I knew it couldn't really do anything. But then, I began to slip. Down into the back of the bathtub and into the water. I panicked and began to sweat. My head sunk down into the water and I felt water running down my nostrils, into my ears and mouth. It was uncomfortable to say the least. I tried my best to move, but I couldn't. I had to break free. I was trapped underwater. I couldn't breathe. Just then, I saw the figure with a stretched mouth leaning over the side of the bathtub. It was blurred since I was looking at it through the water. But I knew what it was. It was laughing at me. A laugh filled with malice and hatred. It was loving this. I was suffocating once more, but this time, it was for real. I found it ironic. How the deformed monster standing over me could do absolutely nothing, but something as simple as taking a bath in my own house could kill me. Eventually, I gained the ability to move back. I burst out from under the water and gasped for air. I could move but I could barely breathe. I tried to regain my breath, but I collapsed. I woke up hours later in my bathroom. The thing is, after going through something like that, I can't get back in the bath. I can't even go back into that room. And worst of all, I'm scared to go back to sleep. I know it can't kill me, but it's scary to think that my own house can. Now when I need to wash, I fill a bucket up with water and throw it over myself. That's how much this stupid condition has ruined my life. I'm paranoid about sleeping. That's if I can sleep. Most nights I just lie in bed, awake. This phenomenon may never return again for my whole life, but its effects will last until the day I die. And the worst thing about sleep paralysis is it could happen to you too. It can happen to anyone. So remember that next time you go to sleep. A terrifying hallucination could be waiting for you to wake up.